フルカウンター All right, so Elizabeth is dropping in a few days' time now. So, as always, we're going to run through everything you need to know about the character and also how to prepare for her. And this one's probably a little more important because the gear is different. She has different mechanics with the way she works with different characters. You can't just use any character, you've got to use a certain set of characters. So, today we're going to run through everything you need to know and also how to prepare for her. So, boys, let's just jump in. If you guys are new and enjoy the videos, then do the like button. And I know most of you are watching right now aren't actually subscribed. So, if you can, hit the button. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Everyone says that but you're gonna have to say it nowadays so boys let's just jump in all right so start with actually getting the character so obviously it's gonna require some diamonds she is actually guaranteed 900 diamonds and as for most of us that's how we'll be getting her because the rates are super low so good luck even getting her but if you do then you're buzzing but assuming right now you have zero diamonds is it possible to guarantee some a copy of light elizabeth and yes it actually is because well they are giving out quite a lot of free gems this month all right so we did get 100 free diamonds a few days ago with top grossing on jp also when light elizabeth does drop we're gonna get a login bonus for a whole month we're gonna get 10 diamonds a day and in total that's around 303 diamonds just by logging in while elizabeth is out also assuming right now which isn't too hard to get your champion five you're gonna get around 50 gems obviously a week and in total while elizabeth is out you're gonna get another 200 gems just by a whole month of her being out and her banner is one month long, so you're going to roughly get around 90 gems of just doing your daily tasks, basically. We're also getting 5 diamonds with the Rooster Chapter 23. And I believe we get around 1 to 2 moles for free on Light Lizard Banner, so you can kind of take away 60 damage from the total of 900. And if you add all that up, the bare minimum, you're getting around 780 gems in a basic month of Light Lizard being out. However, there are definitely more ways to get gems, and I'm going to run through some of them now. Alright, so I'm assuming most of you may not know about this, but if you complete all the chapters and every single time we do complete a new chapter for Ragnarok, we do get a bunch of Grimnar challenges, and literally, most of them are just reading dialogue, which add plot towards the story, but you get roughly around like 20 gems here, almost like a multi's worth, and we are going to get the final one here, the green one, when we do get the next Ragnarok chapter, that possibly might come out in two weeks' time. There are a bunch of other gems you can get in your achievements that are kind of hidden. And I guess you can see right now, I've not done hardly any of them, basically. And uh, there's a bunch of free diamonds here. Basically, almost a multi's worth here. Where if you go into hell and you beat with one hero and you can bring a friend, then you are going to get a bunch of gems too. Also, if you do actually beat, as you can see here, win alone in actual uh, the demonic beast battle helix hell. Obviously, you can do it from normal to hard to extreme. It does go up each time you do it. And we are getting the new, obviously, original demon, which are going to come with its own set of new bosses. So, obviously, assuming you can just go in there, defeat it solo, you are going to get around four to five gems again. So, a bunch of gems you can get there. Probably around one to two miles worth again, if you haven't already checked it. And, obviously, if you add that towards our total, you should be around 840 gems. And that's literally only two multis are basically getting the guaranteed. And, now, uh, like I just say, there can be other ways to get more gems just by doing other stuff in the game for challenges we might even get a final boss for the part two of the anniversary but there's gonna be so much more ways to get gems and right now the bare minimum you can get at least is around 840 and that's not even including the extra gems we get for dailies the extra challenges we get as well there's so much more ways and even just doing these chests right now there's a lot of ways for you to get diamonds right now so most of us should be able to guarantee at least one copy of her at the bare minimum Alright, so of course, when you do get the character, you're going to want to max them out. So on screen now, I'm not too sure who made this. So if you want to leave a comment down below, if you can. But I did see it from Speedy, so it may have been from Speedy, but I'm not too sure. But as you can see, you're going to need a lot of resources because when you do pull Light like Elizabeth, she is going to be level 1, unlike the other characters on the banner. But the main thing to take away, you want to have around 33 actual pendants. And as you can see right now, I only have 60. So I'll be able to max her out and what, do uh, two level 100 characters? Because the game just needs a lot of pendants right now. Unfortunately, there's not too many of them. And as well, you want to have around 145 of the Belmoth cores. But since all we can do right now in Global is the Belmoth raid, make sure you do your free dailies. Honestly, my highlight, my recommendation is this is what I've been doing for the last months now. Just do hard. You don't need to do extreme. Literally, do hard, clear it in two turns, bring your actual uh, Belmoth uh, food, basically. And you get like 20, literally uh, 20 um, Belmoth cores a run. It's um, There's no reason to do hell or extreme. Just do normal. Just do hard and normal. That's what I do. Also, I wasn't really included on the actual list here, but because she is a light character, she does require free time the resources to max her out. So to make the actual light books, it will cost you free of the actual red or green or blue books. So make sure you have enough books here. Uh, literally just farm it overnight before she does come out. And then uh, make sure you have around, I think, 15 of them because it takes five books normally, I believe it is. And uh, you will need, actually, I guess, no, it's seven now, I think. So uh, yeah, you're going to need a lot of books here. So make sure you have around like 20 to uh, 21 of the actual normal uh 
the, the highest level books basically because you're gonna need to trade them in all right so light elizabeth is an actual dps character so you won't be mistaken to think oh give her attack defense that's what you always do towards your actual dps characters but no because she is a little bit different so her first skill is flood based on attack however her next two skills are based off hp and oh or max hp and also her ultimate is based on max hp too so if you want to go attack you can make her do more damage with her actual flood skill but if you go towards hp defense then her a we and her actual ultimate is doing more damage so so for most of us right now we did use the old elizabeth and well she obviously required hp defense so for most of us right now we don't even really need to really change our gear really because we can just use hp defense but what i'd say probably may be a strat here is to use hp crit because obviously it's increasing our stats here she actually is doing a lot of damage so having hp crit your ultimate is doing more damage a we is doing more damage and to be fair the more hp you do have the more actual flood damage you can do just because you're gonna have more hp in comparison to where if they do around 100k you may lose around 50 of your max HP when you're actually using attack crit. But if you're using that HP crit, then you're probably only going to lose around 25% of your HP because you have more HP in comparison. So, uh, yeah, overall, I think I'm going to be using just a, a HP defense because you want to get that HP. You want to start first. And, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going towards because... Uh, you have the gear, might as well, right? If you want to make attack crit or attack defense, then you can. But uh, for most of us right now, we have HP defense. And uh, I think, for personally, I'm probably going to go towards more HP. All right, so for team building, it's pretty straightforward a little bit. But the character the passive does say to buff up, you do have to use skills from Archangels or Seven Nations characters. Meaning, you want to bring at least one, you, typically two, but you want to at least bring one character that is either an Archangel or Seven Nations character. Which, to be fair, isn't really that hard because, well, all the main characters, or at least the meta characters, are Archangels. Or 76 characters, especially because a lot of them have festival characters. But uh, thankfully, they do have a system in game where you can filter by characteristics here. So, as you can see, you can bring all these characters and you can build your team around the sins, basically. But you can also bring the archangels where you can bring these four or five here, basically. And uh, that's how you build your team. You don't really want to bring other characters that aren't either archangel or obviously 76 character. But what I will say though, you can probably build a team like this where you build like, you know, two, you can bring two sins, for example, and then also bring an archangel and then Maybe throw in one other collab character or character that isn't in the set of characters you can bring. And obviously, that will still work really good because um, it would take around three turns to max out your passive. Where if you were to bring a full team, it would probably take around two turns, depending on what skills you do use here. Because typically, you're going to use Remove's turn one. And uh, yeah, Remove is still a good counter. So uh, that is the team, basically. You want to bring any other team. You want to mainly focus on bringing Archangel and also a Sins, of course. And now uh, let's jump it towards the counters. Okay, so relatively speaking, there are some counters, basically. So, firstly, the big counter you can do is start first and to damage it straight away because she does have a flood card which means she does more damage than more hp so starting first and then dealing damage hopefully to nearly one shot to her in one turn would be good enough to where she didn't do too much damage of actual single target skill but i think the biggest one is the fact that she doesn't have a cleanse and she has two attack skills meaning if you can attack still you are going to do so much towards her to where she can't really attack you and i think by far the best counter in the game right now towards like elizabeth is definitely summer merlin mainly because well you can just use two skills and boom attack sealer but also not to mention you can drain so not only are you attack sealing you're also draining her too to where she can't attack and she can't run ultimate so that is a massive massive counter already also her ultimate is low on her hp related stats meaning you are low on her max hp which means that a we and also her ultimate are also doing less damage so literally summer merlin is literally made to counter light elizabeth before she was even released so if you have this character invest into her she's gonna be really really good uh, Gulf is kind of a given. You can attack Seal by ranking up skills. And also, he is a Sin. So, you can actually bring him with Elizabeth. And also, rank up his skills. And also, attack Seal there, Elizabeth. That kind of goes towards uh, Summer Merlin too. Because she is actually a Sin as well. And the next one might go to a little bit. Is uh, definitely Remu. Remu is a powerful, powerful character right now. But I think the main thing as well. Elizabeth, if she does use 6 skills. She actually then buffs up. And also, heals the whole team by 30% of their max HP. So, if you can, obviously, infect them here. You are going to stop that mega heal she does do. And around turn three to turn uh two depending on how much skills and what team they are bringing so Rumu is a massive counter not to mention the biggest one here is it going to counter all the free to play elizabeth because elizabeth ultimate it doesn't hit too hard if you don't really have a uh, you know high deuce but what her ultimate does do is apply a new buff called revival and that buff revival basically means when a character does die with that buff on them they do revive however if it is one to three six it is a blue buff meaning it can be removed so if you have got removed at the start of the turn you will just buff remove that revival buff to where you don't even have to worry 
worry about it. And also max out your passive for Rumoru as well. Only if it is 4, 6 and higher, it does turn to a great debuff, meaning you can't be removed here. But for many people, they're not really going to get a high deep level, at least straight away. So Rumoru is going to take a massive advantage of them using ultimate surviving it and probably just max buffing and removing that revive passive to where it's basically going to be useless. So Rumoru is a massive counter as well right now. And yeah, of course, any DPS kind of works really trade to melee. You can bring Chana to counter. You can also, you know, disable her as well. But typically, they're going to bring someone like Dian. So you want to bring someone like Kant Stanza. You can bring Shuna. You can also heal your team as well. There are many counters, but definitely my three go-to counters right now are definitely these three right now because you've got Taxil, also Infect, also the buff removal too. There's, um... Yeah, definitely these three I think are the go-to. And uh, at least two of them do work with Elizabeth. So you can bring those two to try and counter Elizabeth as well. And uh, yeah, boys, that is it basically. That's all you need to know about Light Elizabeth. How to prepare for her, what gear to bring, what are the counters, what team to bring, how to get 900 diamonds in the first month basically, and also what gear to bring. So boys, let me know if this helps out and also what you think of this character. Are you excited? Are you going to summon? I'm sure most of you are, but some of you may be skipping because what we saw was in chapter 23 with obviously Zelda and obviously some of the demons too. So, uh, I'm excited, man. Obviously, right now, I do not have enough diamonds to summon for her. But hopefully, I can get her in the first 300 diamonds. And then, obviously, I'll try and showcase her when I do get her. Hopefully, in the first few weeks. Because it's going to take a few diamonds to get her. But, boys, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, peace.